The university concluded its investigation into initiation practices at the weekend. This followed national outrage at an initiation ceremony where students used the Nazi salute. Minister of Higher Education, Bladen Zamande, then ordered the NWU to immediately stop all initiation practices. The institution says disciplinary action will now take place. The university says there is a real will to end all initiation practices. It says it not only plans to review the transformation culture at the Poch of Sturm campus, but also at the entire institution. Minister Nzamande gave the university a deadline of three months to submit a report into its investigation of what he refers to as fascist practices. After 12 years in office, outgoing Vice-Chancellor Dr. Tiens Elof says this demand made it easier for him to hand over the reins to his successor earlier. These events have forced us to look at to handling this situation in the best way. And we believe, and I believe, that it's better for Provincial and Party to become involved and take responsibility as new CEO rather sooner than later. Last week, the Department of Higher Education said the university's management denied these practices. But the university insists that it's not in denial. It has now found that some initiation practices at its Potch of Strim campus do indeed infringe on human rights. The university says it's doing everything it can to run a normal, democratic, higher education institution. Karen Labiskagni, Pretoria. Know more about your world. ENCA.com.